Uh, this is in response to Billy's Talking Points memo uh, from uh, Tuesday, March 17th, 2015. Uh, Obama, President Obama defines ISIL. Now, Billy, you're way, way off on this thing today. I'm going to have to go through point by point by point to refute some just egregious errors on your part. Uh, now, the first thing you indicate is that, uh, number one, that ISIL is the greatest threat, uh, 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 Islamic Jihad, of anything in, in the whole world. And, you know, let's just say for today that that's true. But let's remember, uh, things aren't going great in Russia. Things aren't going, uh, there are a lot of problems in uh, Pakistan, which has a nuclear bomb, uh, that uh, China has got the ambitions. Russia has ambitions. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world. And uh, just to define it to uh, 30 to 50,000 ISIL, ISIL, ISIL fighters in Syria and Ir Ir Iran, excuse me, Iraq, uh, a little stretching it a little bit, you know. Uh, but uh, you go on to point out that, uh, and then you point out that ISIL is, you sort of conf conflate that ISIL and Iran are together because Iran is trying to get a nuclear bomb. And again, Iran is a far away from the nuclear, is far away from the nuclear bomb. And uh, Iran is Shia and ISIL is Sunni, and they will never link up and be buddy buddies. <laughs> and further on in your thing, you do point out that the Shia in Iran are going after ISIL, uh, which is Sunni. Uh, but then you indicate that you know not only is uh, the jihadist, so I guess you call it the jihadist, that millions of jihadists uh, that are willing to murder the infidels at will. Now, are there some? Yes. Are there a few? Yes. Have they done it in Western Europe? Yes. Have they tried to do it in America? I believe there's been a couple in America. Yes. Do we have to be ever vigilant uh, in monitoring and uh, um, co concentrating on preventing this type of thing? Yes, we do. Uh, does it present a worldwide threat? Uh, I don't think that it does. But uh, you are entitled to your opinion. Um, and Obama, you were referring to some stuff that Obama had spoken about with, uh, I believe, with something called The Voice uh, that is for uh, HBO. Uh, Obama uh, pointed out that uh, uh, he, he blamed Bush, which he is fully justified in blaming Bush. I'll get to that in a minute. He talked about how we sort of aimed before we shot. Um, I like to say <laughs> that uh, Bush uh, was often wrong, but never in doubt. <laughs> But what he did uh, was very much a, stra a travesty because I don't necessarily like what's going on in the Middle East. I don't necessarily say that I like Saddam Hussein, uh, but it was his country. He was controlling his people. There was a relative amount of peace. Oil was flowing. Uh, and uh, um, there certainly hasn't been a lot of peace that's gone on in there since then. Um, and uh, uh, Obama indicated that we're slowly uh, uh, pushing ISIL out. Uh, and uh, then Billy had to go into his usual tirade uh, about the Iraq uh, insurgency and, uh, and the surge. So let's go back just a little bit. Obama is indicating that we're pushing ISIL out, we're pushing back slowly, uh, but he blamed President Bush for what had, had gone on, what, the fact that we had gone into this area, created this vacuum. Uh, Billy wanted to say that, no, 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 we left, meaning we, the United States, left a very a relatively stable Iraq, uh, especially after the, the surge and the great job that General Perseus did. Um, but let's remember, he was the same, you know, he didn't take responsibility for the 200, 250,000 automatic weapons that were lost there. You know, usually the top guy is supposed to take responsibility. He didn't take that. Did the surge work? No, the surge did not work. Uh, again, I'm going to emphasize it did not work. You added 30,000 military people to a country of about 30-some million. How did the surge work? Uh, according to Billy, oh, we brought 30,000 people and he stabilized everything. Let's go over the, quickly the things that stabilized that had nothing to do with the surge. Uh, number one, the sectarian violence had sort of uh, had already reached its peak. It didn't have that many other targets. So the Sunnis that were killing Shia and the Shia that were getting, killing Sunnis, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot more to do. Uh, number two, the displacement of people within Iraq and outside of Iraq had just about culminated. There were approximately 1 million to 1.5 million people who exited Iraq, emigrated from Iraq because they had to get out of there. And within Iraq itself, 
there was about 1.5 million people who had to move within the confines of Iraq. And in a lot of cases, that was Shia moving to con conclaves that were strictly with Shia people, and Sunni moving to conclaves that were strictly with, Sh with Shia people. Remember, the Sunnis and Shia under Saddam Hussein had lived in harmony, relative harmony, for a long time. But when there was a vacuum, when we took over, when uh, uh, Brenner um, and uh, Rumsfeld got rid of the military, got rid of, rid of the army, uh, you know, it was the wild, wild west out there. People had to go back to, to their people. They had to go back to their own people, uh, the Sunnis to the Sunnis and the Shia to the Shia. So uh, there was a lot of internal displacement. Uh, the third thing that happened was is that the Arab awakening happened, or the, uh, uh, in, uh, the Arab Spring ha was happening in um, Western Iraq, where the Sunnis got tired of all of the Al Qaeda people who were uh, killing women because they were wearing lipstick and killing men because they were smoking cigarettes. And they said, enough of this bullshit. Well, we're going to work with the Americans. We're going to get rid of these assholes. And that's what they did. So that was the third thing that happened. Uh, what was uh, also at that particular point in time, I remember I mentioned that they were going to their own conclaves. Well, the uh, United States was erecting huge uh, uh, barriers. Uh, for those conclaves, 10 foot, wall, 10 foot uh, uh, high uh, walls, uh, so that people would be safe in their own enclaves. Uh, so that, and so if, if someone got in, obviously they could wreck some habit, but the idea was is that they couldn't get in. And uh, so again, uh, you had uh, something that was going that, so this displacement of people within the country, people going to their own clans, so to speak, um, and the erection of huge, huge uh, barriers to, to protect people in their particular areas in uh, Baghdad. Also, uh, people, areas that were predominantly mixed, or let's say predominantly one over the other, just, you know, things just completely reversed, and that thing was playing out too. And then the last thing, which I forgot to chastise you the last time I had a rant about this with you, uh, was that Matadik al Sadr told his uh, army to stand down, meaning that they were going to let uh, the uh, uh, new army of Iraq, which was uh, run by al-Maliki, which was going to have a lot of Shia in it, was going to take care of all of the Shia interests in Iraq from then on. And remember, Shia comprised 70%, Sunni 20%, and the Kurds about 10%. And for that 30 or so years before that was Saddam Hussein, his 20% Sunni had had all the good government positions and had, had really run the whole country to the detriment of the Shia. So uh, the surge did not work. And when we got out of, uh, uh, when uh, Bush was leaving office, uh, there, was, uh, there was a status of forces agreement, uh, which was signed by Bush, which said that we would be out in 2011 or something like that. Uh, Obama did make an effort and probably made a much stronger effort than anyone is giving him credit for because you know you want to make it fluffy and say, oh, he didn't even try. Right? And uh, guess what? Uh, uh, Al Maliki, he, he was under a lot of pressure. Hey, we got to get these guys out of here. Get them out of here. We'll solve our own problems. They obviously couldn't solve their own problems. Uh, two years later, uh, the civil war started out in uh, Syria. Uh, after the, there were some no man's lands in western Syria, ISIL formed, which were basically just an extension of what was originally Ba'athists, who then became Al Qaeda uh, in Mesopotamia, formed. And then when they saw the opening for uh, opening in um, uh, Iraq, they went in. So yes, Bush was at fault. Bush was very, very wrong about the whole thing. And you know, 10,000 forces, 10,000 uh, uh, Americans could not uh, uh, take care of this whole ISIL thing. You know, it's just not gonna happen. And again, I wanna emphasize uh, that uh, this has been going on for a, a long time, that the Shia and Sunni have been going at each other, uh, that there was not a stable government when uh, Obama came in. And uh, we will not defeat ISIL with 10,000 of our troops. We need to have a combination. And here's the other big thing, and I've said this before, is that if, if even if we did send, you know, I want Billy to have a plan where he tells me how many Americans he wants to send there, how much it's going to cost, how long we're going to be there, how many Americans are going to die, um, and how we're going to set up a stable government in all those areas of western Iraq. And that obviously we probably have to go into Syria too, because then ISIL will just reform in Syria. Because 
long as that's in no man's land and how much money that's going to cost to redo Syria, do the whole thing in Syria. I want to, and how many are going to die? Because Billy says, oh, we could do this very easily, but he won't give you know, the, the cost and the human cost that that's going to take. You know, so uh, Obama is basically indicating we're going to get rid of him. And Billy's uh, saying we need to get rid of him tomorrow. Uh, but, uh, you know, for, for Billy, it's actually pretty good because he can hype on it for the next six months or the next two years. Uh, but they're slowly being defeated. They will be defeated. Uh, it's not pretty. Uh, and uh, there's not going to be American lives lost in this.